Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Cindy here from CLB Craft Creations with a 3D project for you today. It is the, um, the end of the week. My kids have made it through a full week of school and um, I wanted to do a little, a little gift in their lunchbox this, um, for today. So that just kind of like a little celebration that they made it through the first week. Um, so you saw my lunchbox notes earlier in the week and I'm going to use actually the, um, it was actually inspired by the set um, because of the hogs and kisses and um, I was thinking I wanted to give them little treats and so I made this cute little thing and it's just something very small that they can stick in their lunch boxes um, that has little Hershey kisses in it. So um, this will hold three, you could probably even get a fourth one in there but I don't really like to send them to school with candy and chocolate and stuff so but it was it's a big it's a big day so anyway these are the um, this is two of them and um, it's perfect because the way I designed it was just for a standard piece of cardstock um, and what I mean by that is it's actually you can get four of these out of one sheet of cardstock because it measures um, four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's like a standard A2 size. Um, so you're cutting your papers down that size anyway. And sometimes if you have a scrap, um, you don't really know what to do with them or whatever, but this is one of those cuts that we do all the time. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, make the third one on camera. I, I would actually make this in the um, DSP. It's pretty thin, but I'm thinking it's pretty destructible anyway because they're going to rip it open to get the candy. So uh, you can use your DSPs if you want. The cardstock's definitely going to be a lot stronger. I'm using um, basic gray today just because it's easier to see on camera and trying to show you the score marks on these is really difficult actually uh, with all the pattern. So I'm going to bring in my scoring tool, my trimmer. It's got the scoring on it. Again, this piece measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And um, so it's basically a piece of cards, uh, eight and a half by 11, cut in half both ways, okay? Our measurements or our score marks are going to be one, and you can actually probably just score this one inch on each side. We'll do that um, just because that's a little quicker and easier just to line that up on this side here. And I will give you the, um, the full measurements or the full score marks on the screen. Okay, so we do have it scored at one inch all the way around. So when you're in the landscape mode, which is basically then the four and a, uh, the five and a half inch side up here at the top, we're going to add our center marks. Okay, so that would have been one inch, and then you would move over to two and a quarter, three and a quarter. And then that final score mark would have been four and a half. Okay, so those are your those are your score marks, and that's all you're going to do. Okay, I'm going to bring in my big scissors. So um, you're going to cut. This is just basic box construction at this point. So we're going to cut up the score marks, and I'm going to notch them because it makes it much easier to fold. But remember to just notch the tabs, not the actual flap of the box. Okay, I went a little crazy with that one. This is definitely going to be a much sturdier box just because I'm using the cardstock versus the DSP. Give this one to my son. <laughs> so he's a little bit more, he's a little harder on things than my girls. Okay, and again, the notching just helps to cut down some of the bulk and actually makes it fold a little easier. And you definitely want to use a stronger adhesive, so I would not recommend snail, but you could use either the tear and tape or you can use your fast fuse. I'm going to use the fast fuse. I'm going to go ahead and fold and burnish all of these score marks so we get nice good creases. Makes for um, lining things up much easier. Final one. We're going to add our adhesive. 
I'm going to do a tiny bit of stamping and we will be done. And I wanted these, again, they're going to go in their lunch boxes, so I didn't want something huge. Um, because I didn't want to give them a lot of candy, but I also didn't want it to take up too much room in their lunch boxes. So these are really fun because they're pretty quick. And you can put any of any candies that are in that size. You can put the nuggets in here. Those will fit too. I think you can actually probably get one, two, maybe even three nuggets in here too because they're one inch. So, uh, okay, so we're going to do our, our um, adhesive. So we're going to put adhesive here here and here. Again, you want to use something strong. I like this just because I can get I can get more than one out of a piece of cardstock. So, I think when we do these, we're always looking for how to maximize our supplies. So that I just basically put the tabs on the top. I'm going to go to the bottom now and I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom tabs. Just lining up the edges. Okay, so now our box construction is pretty much done. This one needs to go down just a little bit more. Or, you know what, I'm just going to trim this. I'm going to notch this this end a little bit. I'm not quite sure why that one is sticking up. You can notch those because those those don't make the edge of your box. So that one's good. Alright, now we're going to just put your bottom layer in. Again, lining up your, your edges. And there you go. And you just fold that over, and there is your little treat box. So I'll go ahead and stick these, because I am actually using these. Uh, go ahead and stick my little Hershey Kisses in here. Just a little, a little, little treat. Celebrate that they got through the day. Um, okay, I've just got a scrap of Whisper White here, and I've got the Hogs and Kisses from the Barnyard Baby set. I'm going to use, this is actually dirty, I'm going to use um, stays on, black stays on. If you were using DSP, obviously you would just coordinate your your ink color wherever your DSP is. Okay, and I'm going to take my word window punch. And I'm going to line that up towards the right hand side so I've got room to punch my hole. Okay. Punch that out. And then um, you're going to take your hole punch. I'm using my crocodile, but you you can use your hole punch. You don't need a huge hole in here. I'm just going to punch a hole right here at the end so I can thread that through. Uh, I use the linen thread on the other two boxes. I'm going to use the Whisper White on this one. And I'm just going to leave a leave a length. I'm just making a knot. And again, I don't. They don't need anything super fancy. It's just really the thought. So I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times. Cut off the length. And then I'm just going to pull that down, and then I'm going to take my tag going to feed one end through, making sure that my text is up and not facing down, and then I'm just going to tie a knot right on top. Got a little loose on me. off whatever excess you want to. I want to leave a little bit of string just kind of hanging there for decoration. And there you go. Super quick, cute, easy, and 
you know, it's a fun little treat that they can look forward to in their lunch boxes. Um, and again, they would just slide that off. This is loose enough that it'll slide right off and then the treats would be inside. It wouldn't go back on there, obviously, but um, there you have it. I hope that you liked today's project. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. Subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment and I will see you soon.